Brady, lovely pick out again. He's passing very impressive in these early stages. Waters finds that yard of space. Oh, fabulous goal, Jonathan Waters. What about that? Space at a premium, really didn't look like it was on, but what a peach. Top corner. Very little back lift. Just picked his spot. That is an absolute beauty. Superb, really is. Glenn Whelan again in those advanced areas. A little bit of a mix up between him and Walters here. A little bit confused, but he's strong. Just shifts it to one side. He may well have taken a deflection, but I don't think it has. It's really good technique, but John Walters doesn't slash at it, doesn't try and smash it. He just guides it into that top corner. Conde has no chance. The Irish captain again. Let's keep an eye on Caceres as well. John Walters marking him. Randolph comes into traffic for that. Didn't get there and it's in. Uruguay equalise. Jose Jimenez with the final touch, it seemed. Darren Randolph made the decision to come and try and get that, maybe based on the quality of the earlier service at free kicks. Now Jimenez went in bravely for his fourth international goal. Well, it's not as if we haven't been warned. Dan Randolph cannot come for that ball, it's as simple as that. The type of ball means he's never going to get there. At sixes and sevens, does he shout, does he scream away, he gets caught in no man's land. And it sails. It's come off his shoulder, actually. Jimenez, slightly fortunate. Maybe the Uruguay's most impressive defender in the game so far. More defending for him to do here against Christie. Comes back onto his left-hand side, oh, he squeezed it into the corner. Cyrus Christie, his second international goal. Uruguay bamboozled and the Republic of Ireland back in front. Well, we've worked it really well to the right hand side. Again, Harry Arthur snaps the ball out, tries to get it to Cyrus Christie first time. Johnny Hayes just stops, you'll just see here. Comes out, it's actually and once it comes out, Caceres, he's not sure, he backs off. Once he comes inside, I've absolutely no doubt. It's a cross, tries to guide it across the six yard box. It's a decent ball. Quartes gets it all wrong. And they just assumes he's going to clear it. And it just goes in. It's a very loose pass, and led by Houlihan. Here's Murphy. McLean has gone on that far side, and he might get there. Big test for the pace of Jimenez here. McLean is away. Terrific run. Can he finish? Oh, marvelous goal. What a goal. James McLean and all that went before it and that surely is the victory for Martin on the other side now. Well that man deserves a lot of credit, he could have easily gone like for like and that substitution with Jeff Enger coming off could have put O'Kane on. But he elects to make the more positive one and he's been rewarded. A sloppy square pass in midfield, Daryl Murphy does really, really well. He recognises the space in behind and look at the power and pace. James McLean very much the angle that he scored against Austria away hoping for another one next weekend and he was never in doubt playing with such confidence in a green short a super breakaway goal for Ireland no more than we deserve what a finish arrowed into the bottom corner with